guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to my Chanel. Yes! We love a woman who watches the game. Hello beautiful, welcome back to my Chanel. Today I am joined by the glamorous woman on the game, Rolish We Are Do, who's also a lip sync assassin girl voted Just for season call three. call me TikTok number one girl. girl. Before we get into the video, I actually do want to say that we have a podcast. We do, yes. It is called Gag of the Milanoir. And, and it's, it's all about me. <laughs> And it is called Gag of the Millennial. We talk about anything to do with like pop culture, fun recent events, things yep. like that. We talked about space. Yep. We've got one about the end of the world, girls, yep. what's going to happen. Check out our link in the description box below to watch them because they're really good. You yes, should. Mum. Mummy whammy. Mummy whammy in my tummy, I'm a cannibal. Anyway, girls, I'm a cannibal. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking back on some absolutely bizarre beauty routines, makeup routines, mm -hmm. skincare routines from before now. So some from like the 50s, some from the 1400s, mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Are you ready, girl? I am, yeah. Are you sure? I'm sopping. Well, without any further ado, let's get on to those weird old routines. So the first one I'm going to mention is from the 1950s and it is called Dust, Oil and Sweat. God. Sounds like a Don't tell me they put sawdust on themselves or something. Do they put dusty women? No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't read it, girl. Ah. Ah. So proper hair care for the 1950s. Wash your hair frequently to keep dust, oil, and sweat accumulation to a minimum once every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I may be bald, but I remember when I had hair, I would wash it several times a week. Imagine being like, wash it often, girls. Once every two weeks is enough. We love it. We love it. Yes. I mean, get rid of that dust we, and oil and sweat. We, we spoke about it a long time ago. People used to literally throw their shit out the window. That's very so, true. So I mean, I don't know if this I've is I've got too... a bag of lavender to yeah, cover my flatulence. Yeah. Disgusting. Do, do, do. Your body odor, it's all the same. <laughs> it's not even that long ago, is it really? I mean, did they have like free running water maybe? Did they have running water in the 50s? Yeah, they have. They, they must have, yeah, right? Yeah. I suppose it depends where you are in the world yeah. as well. But like, yeah. Rinse, then add lemon juice or vinegar to the next rinse. Uh, the final rinse should always be in a fresh water. If your hair squeaks after the final rinsing, you may be sure it's clean. Isn't Doesn't that sound like a ritual? When you make things squeak like that, it's actually getting too rid of too much I of thought oil. this as well. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, you need a little bit of like slip on the hair so that it's like healthy because your hair should not be squeak. Who wants a squeaky woman? Bustle.com, girls. Stinky anti-aging solutions. The people of ancient Greece and Rome believed that crocodile dung had anti-aging properties to it. According to Total Beauty, they would often soak in crocodile dung and baths or use it as a form of face mask to get that youthful glow. That is absolutely why, disgusting. Why is crocodile, like, why is that, Why did they go, oh, what is it about the olden people that are like, you see that dung over there, I'm going to play with it. Ooh. It's, who came up with that? Someone was trolling someone. And they came up, it became a trend. Someone All the wealthy like, people were like, I own the babe of the finest dung. They're like, ancient, ancient Greece, remember that? Like, we're going to get Julius Caesar soaked. We're going to start the room and that rubbing feces oh, on your yes. face is good for aging. Only available in Harrods, yes, girl. Yes, Get only. your feces masks mm. today. Onlycrocs.com. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, imagine the stench. Everyone just must have reeked. I, I, I'm sorry, but everyone in the old days just stank. Every, yeah, from what we've come from these videos, from what we've learned from these videos, everybody in the old world was just like literally rotting. Did you hear? Maggie lost a toe. What did she do? She ate it. And rubbed herself with feces. <laughs> At this point, imagine if you stepped into an NHS hospital and they were like, we just smothered <laughs> down and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Camel feces yeah, down your ear. Yeah, they were like, that'll uh, shove it in there, thing, girl. Yeah. yeah, it'd be so good. Yeah. And then they bled you with leeches. Yeah. Camel pee for shiny locks. As it turns out, these cute humpbacked animals are good for more than riding through the desert. Women in ancient Arabia dipped their hair in camel's urine to increase its shine. Of Move course. over argan oil. Of course they did. Of, co of like, course they did. Oh, Barbara, your hair's looking really grey. Yes. Where's all the useful glare? It's not what you need. I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie. Like, they must, you must have just hated your neighbours and your family members being like, do you know what, my mother-in-law's a right old bag. Literally. I'll tell you what, here's a bag of piss. Yeah, Dunk your head in it, sis. Tell her it's fabulous for yeah. the last. Oh, it'll make you feel so young and glowy. What's your secret? Piss. So, ancient Greece and Rome people had crocodile shit. Arabian people had a camel piss. What do we do? Die. We just ate our babies. Yeah, we just <laughs> threw them out the window. Yeah. Hideous. 
What is it with these people that in the olden days that literally looked at animals and were like, see that waist? I've got, got to get in on that. Oh, I got pissed on by a camel girl. Look how lovely and glamorous that is. Ready lots. for Playboy. Disgusting. So I've heard about this before. Extra dangerous dieting. Swallowing tapeworms oh, in the God form of a pill, sake. usually via beef tapeworm cyst, was what? the method of choice for weight loss in the early 1900s. <sighs> According to the BBC News, the thinking here was that the tapeworm would grow and absorb food once the host reached their goal weight. They would simply take a pill to get the parasite out. However, it wasn't that simple considering tapeworms can grow about 30 feet long can cause many medical health issues like dementia and epilepsy and were very painful to extract unfortunately some people still take part in this incredibly dangerous form of dieting today imagine being like i've got to take my tapeworm go it's and then being disgusting. like look how skinny i am i'm so like Thirty foot tapeworms inside you. Uh, that's absolutely. I'm not. What that uh, beat the baby. <laughs> so I'm six foot one. So six, twelve, eight, twenty four. Oh so, so my like five of me. God. Like five You're of, six foot one. Yeah. Oh my god. So like math daddy queen. So no. <laughs> don't mess with me, bitches. I'll have you on a slab. Um, <laughs> like, and I'll smash like Aslan. Like, do you, like can you can? Do, can you <laughs> I can't believe you've got a lying bitch in the wardrobe. No, lying <laughs> witch. <laughs> The tapeworm would still be growing inside of you. The like if the weight. You would not still going, carry the mass. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're still carrying it. And like that, does that mean the tapeworm is like shitting into your stomach? That is the worst thing <laughs> I've ever heard you say in my entire <laughs> life, and I've known you for three minutes. <laughs> Right, girl. girl. X-ray away your unwanted hairs. The trico system. X-rays are a wonderful medical imaging tool that allows us to see exactly what's going on on the inside. Bringing the outside in. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence Lauren Bowen. However, women used to use x-ray technology to get rid of excess hair in the 20th century. In addition to causing their hair to fall out after long exposures to these harmful rays, they also caused ulcerations and sores and even cancer. I don't understand how we managed to survive this long. The early days when technology started to actually be a thing, I don't know how everyone didn't like, die of radiation poisoning. Oh, I know. And like explosions. And like the fact that you were able to buy like a chemistry set as a kid and you could buy things that had radium in yeah, it. Yeah, you could just like, like, fresh heroin over the yes, counter. Yes. Need your cocaine, buy one a kilo of, of it after. Pretty, well, like one of these um like chemistry sets you could buy as a kid literally had like plutonium in it. Yeah, like small amounts of uranium and plutonium. It was like, in America you, in the 1940s. What, how, how did not everyone just like die? die? How did they not straight up die but like the whole thing about the like them having like lead paint in the walls and it caused like everyone to like die and what was the other what was the other thing they had leeches Ar arsenic arsenic, oh, it was, like, arsenic, arsenic was in, in the everything. walls and it was just like just literally poisoning everyone around them like, it's just like how could you not use an x-ray device immediately injure yourself and be like well, we've got an ulcer there now yeah maybe i shouldn't maybe i shouldn't do this the x-ray will get rid of the ulcer. ulcer now my ulcer has an ulcer oh god the x-ray will get my rid of the ulcer gone. ulcer yeah. my head's completely gone off do you know i'll fix that x-ray yes According to the Daily Mail, oh, we oh, hate well, them. The, the Daily the, Fail. What? Ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti. Nefertiti made her own blush using clay and crushed beetles. It sounds pretty oh. gross, but many women of that time followed suit. So this is the thing at the moment that's actually like in the zeitgeist because there is uh, so crushed beetles. If you don't know, are known as carmine. Yeah, it's or red. It's in red. It's, red. It's, in, yeah. it's like a bright red color. And uh, in a lot of like non-vegan makeup formulas, they still use carmine because we don't actually have a red pigment. We have red dyes that are alternative and they stain you, which is why like, you know, on like some people's like Jamama Salon potato. Jamama Salon spaceship. Yes, her. She So when she used a uh, red dye in her re uh, like red palette, whatever it's called. Blood labias. Blood labias. Yeah, it was basically like, it will stain the eyelids because it's a dye. So that does not surprise me. The, do you know the ancient Egyptians were so far ahead of their time? They had wigs, they had SPF. They had eyeliner, they had skincare routines. Oh God. Can you believe it? Amazing. The Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Paul We're and Ringo, John and Beatles. <laughs> Time for some blush girls. This next one is called Red Lips and Decayed Teeth. Oh, I mean, fabulous. spoiler alert, yes. girls. That was basically you. Oh my. Red Lips and Decayed, decayed Teeth. How <laughs> dare you? I just realized. According to South Asian Studies, a research journal of South Asian Studies by the University of Punjab South Asian Studies. Say that 10 times. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Indian women during the Mughal period constantly chewed betel leaves to achieve a red stain on their lips. However, this led to lots of tooth decay and remains an issue today in parts of Asia as people enjoy chewing a mixture of betel seeds, lime and tobacco, which causes oral cancer. 
The reason why your lips are red is because you're rotting, girls. <laughs> but why would chewing it make your red lips red? You know when you get like an irritation and you go, like, I'm starting to flake girls yes. in feel. It's got to be that kind of thing where it's like, it's irritating your lips so much they go red. And so much so that your gums are like, time, time to get rid of my tooth. tooth. And then stop it. Stop, stop it, girls. Stop, stop playing silly buggers. Stop, stop playing yes. silly buggers. My teeth are going girls. Your teeth are going girls. The next one is called the dimple machine. Oh my God. Women invents dimple machines. Dimples are now made to order. These aids to beauty can be produced as a result of a new invention by Isabella by Isabella Gilbert of Rochester, New York. The device consists of a face-fitting spring carrying two tiny knobs which press into the cheeks. Also, it looks like over time you'd be like, I've worn away the skin. Yes, here. I know. Time to put holes in I my look cheeks. look like a skull. If you were a woman living in the early 20th century and were completely distressed over your lack of dimples. Oh, oh, I don't have any dimples. Don't imagine being distressed over not having dimples. Like, I mean, women back in the day were very much like, oh, the garden's too green. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I read a really upsetting book. I, I bequeath my all my worldly oh, belongings I, yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Don't ever touch Don't me, you dimple a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella Gilbert invented the dimple stamper in 1936 as a spring-loaded contraption that promised to make a fine set by pressing a pair of knobs into the cheeks. So the name of this lady is really funny. Her name is Fanny Ward. <laughs> Fanny Ward credited her unfading youth to hanging upside down for half an hour every day. See you all she, later, girls. I've um, just got to go upside yes. down like a bat. Yes, uh, I'm not right. So, I think she was a vampire woman and she they were just have, like, yeah. oh, she's hanging upside down. She was like, uh, uh, you've caught me at an awkward time. Yes. Yes. eating a baby. You know, yeah. upside down, uh, <laughs> it's my beauty routine. It keeps the blood going to my head. Yes, girl. Anyway, time for the Patreon. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> And a massive thank you to all my Patreons you can see right on the screen here. And especially a giant hello to Jennifer Plum, Chelsea Giles, Crystal Seeger, and Immaculata Vintage Girls. And as always, a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons and channel members, Magusta Lagoose, Morrigan E. Wolf, and Erin Conkle. All right, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching this lovely little collaboration. We actually made a video over on Rolly's channel. The link is in the description as usual. Make sure you go over and subscribe to him because he's struggling for subscribers. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, uh, yeah, it's not going yeah. well for you. Right? <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> bad girls, bad girls, bad girls, have look out. <laughs>